Hi and welcome back guys to part two of how to take your product photography to the next level. As a recap, here are the first two images that we'll be working with today to create something like this. Okay, so please note before we get started that I color corrected these two photos. Didn't crop anything, just color correct, basic adjustments. So if you haven't done that already, please do that before moving on to this next stage. And if you've done this already, well, let's get straight into Photoshop. Open up your first image and let's go. Open the base image in Photoshop. Right click and duplicate the layer. Rename it layer one patch. Next, we need to fix these sides. Grab the rectangular marquee tool and click and drag a selection. Then hit shift delete on your keyboard and fill this selection with the content aware feature. Once you're happy with your image, it's now time to bring over the second image. Click this image in Photoshop, click and drag it over to the first tab you had opened. And now I'm gonna turn down the opacity so I can visually see where it will sit. I think it works nicely here. So you're probably wondering, how do I blend it in though? Well, let me show you. Turn off layer two for the time being and click on layer one. Now, if your props and products are in focus, this next part is super cool. But if they're not, you might have to do it the boring way and use the pen tool to clip around the items. So sorry for that, but let me show you the fun stuff. Grab the object selection tool and click and drag around the items and then let go. Now we have a selection around the items, let's turn back on layer two. To remove the pixels, you'd normally click delete, but that's called destructive editing, and that's not what we want, and that's not what I teach here. So, this is how you do it. So to create a layer mask, I will click this camera icon. Whoops, it's hidden the outside of the image rather than the inside of my selection. I should have inverted the selection before doing that. Let's undo that move by clicking Command Z or Control Z if you're on a PC. Now to invert the selection, click Command Shift I. As you can see, the selection is now on the outside of the image. And now if we click the mask icon again, you can see the layer underneath is now showing through the image on top. Pretty cool, right? Now let's fade in the bottom of layer two to make it blend in. Make sure you have selected layer two and click on the layer mask. Select the gradient mask and make sure black is to the left and white is to the right. Keep in mind that black hides the pixels and white shows the pixels on our layer mask. So if you have black set up on your left and white on your right, it's time to fade in the bottom of layer two. Make sure you have selected layer two and click on the layer mask. Head down to the bottom section of layer two, click and drag upwards. Notice how the gradient tool is painting in black on the layer mask, which is hiding the pixels on layer two. Once you are happy with the overall image, turn up the opacity back up on layer two. I think I might just edit this paper line here just to make it look a little bit more flat. If you don't know how to do that, I have a video on that, which I'll link either way up here or up there. Once you're happy with your final image, resize your image to your preferred crop ratio and export it as a JPEG. And here is the final image. Well, that is all for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got something out of it. If you did, give it a like, give it a subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Catches.